Greetings and welcome to the latest segment of Caring About Seniors. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. I sit down with Oasis Senior Advisors Jacksonville and we discuss all aspects of senior living. Today, Al Bogosius from Oasis has brought along the wonderful Divya Desai from Beyond Parkinson's. Welcome. Hello. So Divya, tell me, what is Beyond Parkinson's? Beyond Parkinson's is my business that I established in order to help patients with Parkinson's disease. There is so much more to life than just Parkinson's disease, and I want to help them see what's beyond that. Um, how can we still continue to live our life to the fullest despite the diagnosis? So hence uh, the name Beyond Parkinson's. Now, you are an occupational therapy that specializes in no. neurological disorders. Correct. Tell me what it is that you actually do to assist pat patients. Okay, so I'm an occupational therapist and it means I help my patients get better at doing their occupations. Now, occupations is anything that we do through the day. It's not just necessarily the job. So first thing when we wake up, getting uh, out of the bed is occupation, brushing your teeth is mm. occupation, taking showers, going to bathroom, getting ready to work, driving is an occupation, taking care of kids is an occupation, sexual activity is an occupation, and for that matter, sleep is also an occupation. So if someone had a disorder or a diagnosis that impacts their ability to do a range of occupations, then I can come in as an occupational therapist and help them perform those meaningful tasks more independently. So that's what I do um, when I help my patients really get down to the details of what matters to them and how can we still have you perform those activities. So tell me, how do, how do you approach working with these patients? They've come to you, they've mm -hmm. obviously been diagnosed mm -hmm. with, with some sort of disorder. Mm -hmm. Is there a sort of an initial consultation and then you explain and lay out what your process is? Correct. So initial evaluation is very extensive. It takes anywhere between an hour to hour and a half, depending on how complex the situation is. I start with their history, how long they've been having those symptoms for, and really how it impacts their life. Uh, then going into the details of um, our discipline, so looking at their range of motion, muscle strength, how their coordination is, looking at their cognition, um, seeing how their cognition may be impacting how they perform their daily lives. And I also look at their home environment because a lot of times it's not just the diagnosis that sets a person up for difficulties, it could be just the home environment. Yeah. So it could be uh, a loose rug or a, a charging cord that may be in the way and that wow. can make a person fall. Yes. So really going from, as soon as I enter their home, actually I'm already doing my assessment. How many steps do they have to get into, into the house? Are they broken? Do they have any railing to hold on to the steps? And then kitchen and bathroom are usually high fall risk area as well. So I'll take my patient into the kitchen, take them into the bathroom, bedroom, and see how they move around mm -hmm. in their own space and if there is anything that can be readjusted even to help create better living space for them. So that is a very extensive evaluation. And at the end of evaluation, I have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them to find out what are some goals that matter to them. Not, mm -hmm. not every person wants to work on the same things. So that's the good part about occupational therapy. We work with our patients to help them do things that mm -hmm. matter most to them, which means it's going to be different for Al and it's going to be different for you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Al, I, I'm sure you've, you, you've seen a number of uh, situations where you've had to call on Divya um, to help. Yes, yes. And it's, it's hard because I want to just give you three letters, activities of daily living which is really what the occupational therapy engages in. And what people do is they get into this denial that, that nothing's wrong. Mm -hmm. And so they leave things to chance. And if you, if, you, if you have a situation, face it head on, that's what she does. Get a grasp on what you can do to make your life easier and things that she said, the rugs, where you have to reach things and equally important is overhead lighting. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really? And as we get older, our ability to see items with the same amount of light changes. So actually, as we get older, we have to adjust the lighting and make mm. it a little bit brighter mm. because our eyes are not the same anymore and that gets overlooked a lot of times. 
which can increase the risk for falls for these of patients. Course, mm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, you've brought some interesting yes. stuff with you. We've only got a short time left, but I'd, I, okay. I would like to know what you have here. Right. So this is called a shoe, <laughs> long shoehorn. I'm sorry. So this is particularly helpful for patients who have a difficulty bending over to put their shoes yeah. on. Sometimes that itself balance may issue. To balance issues. Sure. So this shoehorn we are all aware of. This is just the longer version of it. Then I brought a sock aid. So this is a nifty oh my device goodness. as well. What you do is really put a sock on top of it, swing it out, put your foot through it, and when you pull the string, the sock oh, goes wow. high. So that That's the eliminates, hardest thing for yes. seniors is to put their socks on. Right, so wow. it eliminates the need for them wow. to bend over, okay. and it's very easy to use. It takes just a little bit of practice. Oh. I'll show one more nifty little device. It's, this is a reacher, also known as picker-upper. Picker-upper, <laughs> yes. Um, and all you do is just pull on that lever, and it helps patients pick up wow. small items from the floor or anything that's higher up. And that can also eliminate a lot of falls um, that may happen. So I, I use these Wonderful. gadgets to help them perform their activities of daily living a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Thank Wonderful. you so much for coming in and telling us about mm -hmm. what you do. I'm sure there's going to be an opportunity for you to be able to come back because yes. there's, this is... This is so important for you yes. to help. It's not just Parkinson's, it's other neurological disorders too. Absolutely. Thank you, Divya, and always good to see you, Al. You too. You Thank too. you. And don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information about Divya, you can find it on beyondparkinsons.com or on iwantabuzz.com. Thank you for watching.